Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial slash review using the new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna products. I went through and mainly focused on all the Fenty Beauty products and I kind of used one from each category and give you my thoughts and opinions, show you guys how it looks. I also went to the launch party for Fenty Beauty and let me tell you, this party was so sick. It was just a really cool setup and Rihanna was there and I was kind of like dying because she looked so gorgeous and she's the reason I fell in love with the color trophy wife which is this gold highlight here that I have in the inner corner and this whole collection is really focused on skin which I love I think skin products are my absolute favorite I enjoy new foundations concealers highlights and she has a lot of that going on here what I love about the reviews with this collection is that I am seeing such a large spectrum of people review it and that makes me happy she did launch 40 foundation shades which is unbelievable and they all have different undertones you guys will hear my thoughts and opinions and see just how everything looks in this video. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. I've already primed my lids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I set it with a light shadow. Now we're gonna take Fawn by ABH. This is a good neutral brown and I'm picking that up on a Smith 232. I'm gonna apply this all the way in the inner corner and start working it out. We're actually gonna go into a smaller brush. This is a Smith 247. Start working here and then as I get to the end, I start to feather it out. That way I don't have like a really harsh edge. Next I'm picking up Sienna. You guys remember Sienna, I haven't used it in a hot minute. This is the AB8 shadow I used to use like nonstop. I'm gonna pick that up with the 247. So we're gonna go a little lower than we put the fawn. But we're also gonna take it into the inner corner. I'm also gonna hit it on the outer part of the eye over here. Pretty excited about this Fenty collection. I will say that yesterday I tried to film and I used the color that they color matched me to. I put it on and it just made my face turn like pretty orange. And I thought I could just keep going and I kept filming and then I decided no, 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 no. This is too orange. I gotta try a different shade. Next we're picking up Fudge by ABH, just a dark rich brown. I'm gonna use a Smith 230 brush. We're gonna start applying that on the outer part of the eye here. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that fudge into the crease. I'm actually kind of just hitting it with some buffing motions here so that it all diffuses. Then you wanna drag the eyeshadow slightly outwards. Now I'm gonna go in with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot and a flat dose of Colors Concealer Brush. Carve out to the crease. Now I'm gonna pick up Noli from Dose of Colors from our Desi X Katie collection. This is like the perfect bronze, okay? The perfect bronze. I'm gonna put it on with my finger at first, but then to get to that crease, I'm gonna use a flat concealer brush. This collection is currently out of stock, but it will be back in stock on Sunday, this Sunday. Once I get majority of it on, I'm gonna take a little flat concealer brush. I'm going to get really close to that crease line. Before I finish off my eyes, I'm gonna move on to the skin. And this is the first Fenty product I'll be using in the video. It is the Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. So this is a mattifying primer. It does have a light pink undertone, but it's supposed to fuse into everybody's skin tones. It says that it smooths the canvas before applying foundation. So it gets everything nice and baby soft. And it has, from what I've seen on other YouTube reviews, a very moisturizing feel, which would make sense because the foundation is super matte. This primer sells for $32. That's a little pricey for a primer considering the foundation is $34. So I took a pump on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this into the skin, especially around the nose area because that's where I tend to get really shiny and I would like that to be matte. So it does have a very light moisturizing feel, not too silicone-y. Smells soft, if that's even a scent. It smells clean, soft, like a little baby. Moving on to the Pro Filter Foundations. There is 40 shades of this foundation, which is crazy. I was so excited that there was so many undertones because not a lot of brands have a lot of different undertones. And for me, it's like I'm an olive undertone and everything is either warm or pink and sometimes neutral. And this is a matte foundation. It's supposed to be long wear. It's supposed to give you a filter finish look, which I tried this foundation yesterday when I tried to film this video the first time. The color didn't look right, but the finish was beautiful. You guys will see right now, it just looks crazy good for film and pictures. I loved the way my skin looked, so there's that. I can tell you right now, 
it's really nice finish. This is a medium coverage foundation. It does say that it is buildable and it has a soft matte airbrush finish. Instantly smooth, pore diffused, shine free finish climate adaptive technology, resistant to sweat and humidity. From trying this foundation, I can tell you that it does feel very light, even though it is so matte, sometimes things tend to feel tight when they're matte, but it doesn't feel that way, it feels really good. But here's my dilemma. Even with 40 shades, I still feel like I don't have the perfect shade for my skin tone in this range. Since it is a matte foundation, from what I've seen and swatched, everything dries down to a darker finish. So keep that in mind when you're trying it out. I suggest if you buy it in store, you know, color match yourself, but then give it a second because it does change. Let me swatch it for you guys really quick. So this is the swatch of 360, which looks really good on my skin when I first swatch it, but we're gonna give it a second to dry. When it dries down, even though it's an olive undertone, I feel like it starts to get a little pink. You can see now, this is how it looks when you swatch it, and then this is what it dries down to. This is the same color, 360. It's definitely more olive yellowy, which I like that color initially. These are actually the colors that they color match me to, one for when I'm more tan, and then one for when I'm a little bit less tan. 370 is the first one I got color matched to. And this one has warm undertones. So you can see that is definitely more of a warm undertone. And then there is 340 right here. So these are both pretty warm and actually this is the one that I tried the first time filming. It just made me look really, really orange. So you can see where I'm in the predicament. Those are the colors that would be around my shade. So if you are my shade, this is, this is a problem for us. I'm gonna go ahead and try 340 that has the olive undertone and just see what happens. It might not color match to my skin, but we'll just accept it because I really want you guys to see the finish. It's incredible and I'll show you guys that right now. I'll be using the Fenty makeup sponge to apply the foundation on half my face. This is the Precision Makeup Sponge. It is three-sided. It does have that like eggy shape and then it's flatter on one side as you can see there. And then it has a little edge for, I'm gonna say the under eye area. Works with any formula, liquid, cream, or powder. If you use this wet, it's gonna give more of a light coverage. If you use it dry, you're gonna get more of a full coverage. I want full coverage, but I'm also so used to using a beauty sponge wet. I did try it wet last time and it was okay, so I think I'm gonna try it dry just because I want full coverage. And then we have the full bodied foundation brush. This is also a new Fenty item here. This is a medium density liquid foundation brush. It's designed to give seamless and airbrushed full coverage. I'm gonna use the brush first. I'm like scared because I know my face is about to turn a weird color, but we're gonna go for it. We're going in with 360. Looks good at first application. Oh, I wish it would like stay this color because I feel like it would be really good for the rest of my body right now. So I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and pat and lightly blend as I pat, but I'm not gonna buff. And from the way this looks like it's designed, it doesn't look like it's designed to be buffed, especially with a matte foundation. I'm gonna bring this shit down my neck because you know, I gotta, I gotta have some connection here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'm using the sponge this time. I think the sponge dry with this foundation is better. It's pretty soft, so it's not dense or stiff to where if you use it dry, it hurts your face. I'm really hoping that she comes out with a dewy foundation. I have a feeling she will. She's a pretty dewy girl. I feel like as it dries, it starts to get warmer and warmer. Let me know what you guys think. It's hard to tell because I'm looking at a monitor, but maybe it looks different. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna mix my Becca Beige with a little bit of Tan Sand Shape Tape concealers. And I'm gonna use this in the center. I'm gonna be using the sponge again to blend this out. Using the brush, blending out that forehead with this brush and down the bridge. I think the concealer really helped not make my face look as overall warm. Now it has a little more dimension. Next we have the matchsticks which all magnetize together. Look at this. There are 20 matchsticks and these are for correcting, concealing, contouring. You can use them anywhere, eyes, lips, blushers, or under eye. You could even use it in your crease if you wanted to, but there are some lighter shades for highlighting, some darker shades for contouring, all different undertones, cool, neutral, warm. And then there's also some shimmer sticks and ones that you could use for blush. One of these has the name Chili Mango, which is my favorite name. I'm upset that I didn't think of that. Chili mango, 
which is beautiful. You could use this as a blush. You could use this on your lips. So I think I'm gonna first go into a highlight one. So this is Honey. This one would be nice possibly to correct my under eyes because it does have a salmon-y undertone. We also have Almond here. These are very close to my skin tone. This one is a little cooler. Then we have Wheat. That one looks like my jam. I'm liking Wheat. See how it has more of a yellow undertone? Everything starts to look pink next to something that's super yellow, which is what I like. Not too yellow, more of a neutral yellow, but that looks pretty good. I'm gonna try that for my highlighting. Going into Wheat, highlighting the bridge of my nose. I'm curious to see how these are gonna work over such a matte foundation. Bring that out, the sponge. I really like that. I think it blends out really good. Then we have some that are for shimmer. So this one's named Blondie. Look at that, that's so pretty. Love this shade. This is a cream shimmer. Woo, and I'm gonna take that down the center of my nose. Okay, I'm going in hard. Rihanna at the event looked so pretty. Her skin was glowing from a mile away. I think that's what made me fall in love with it was how good it looked on her. And she wore it very editorial. Trophy Wife. So Trophy Wife is a kilowatt highlight, which I love the name kilowatt. You know when names are so good, you're like, why didn't I think of that? Look at that. It really does look like just a brick of gold. I'm gonna go ahead and take a pencil brush with this. So I just want like a burst of Trophy Wife in my inner corner. You could do whatever you want with makeup. And this highlight, for example, is something that not every day am I gonna wear this, but it gives you an option for a certain look that you're going for. Maybe not every day for me would I wear this highlight, but for example, the Pat McGrath highlights, the ones that have the pink undertone, the iridescent undertone, that's also another highlight that I'm happy I have the option to use. For certain looks, it just looks incredible and I love it. Ooh I'm also gonna put this on the bridge here. I'm skipping around here. I'm just gonna finish the under eye really quickly. Basically taking all the crease colors and I'm gonna buff them on my lower lash line. You guys, I am extremely excited for Halloween videos. And like I've said before, I don't even have like solid ideas. I have some ideas. I can't wait for the season in general. If you guys have anything you wanna see in particular, let me know in the comments below. Going in with a little sienna now, just on the outer part. I wanna do a little contouring. Now this is kind of what I'm scared of because this is a creamy stick and I have a matte foundation, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, okay? I'm scared to buff over a matte foundation. This is in the shade Truffle, which is pretty deep here, but why not? I wanna go in. It says that it is a long wear light matte formula, conceal correct contour, which I told you guys earlier. You can layer it, it's buildable, and it has a cream to powder finish. It's supposed to have no creasing, no caking. Mm, no, I'm not liking truffle with what I have going on. We're gonna we're gonna make moves. We're gonna switch it up. Ooh, mocha's really cool tone. This is mocha. It's very ashy, which is good to contour. But because my face is so warm right now, I think let's see what cocoa is all about. That one. Let's try it really quick. Oh, that looks good once it's blended out. Still a little warm, but I like the consistency. For me, as far as like highlight cream sticks and contour cream sticks. I like to use these when I have like more of a light coverage to no foundation, more of that skin look. That's what I like. I like to use these because I feel like you can really buff them out, blend them and use your fingers and just be on the go. I don't know if you guys noticed, but even though the foundation's really matte, I still feel like I have a natural glow coming through. That feels like it give me like um, a MAC give me sun feel, like that really nice warm glow. I'm gonna go into the Kilowatt highlight. This is a dual highlight. I don't really care for this one that much, but I love this shade over here, which is Hustle Baby. This one is Mean Money, and it's, to me, it looks a little bit more satin, and this one has more of a sheen shimmer, which I like. I'm gonna put Trophy Wife over this. I just really want you guys to see what this looks like. I'm gonna be glowing for sure. I'm gonna be glowing. I'm gonna spray my skin with a little Fix Plus really quickly. And I'm going back into Trophy Wife. I am a little scared to hit up Trophy Wife, but I'm gonna do it. That is what I'm about to do. First, I'm gonna take a little bit of it on the brow bone. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that, put it on the very high point of my face here. Woo-wee! And then like blend it upwards. We have the Universal Fenty Blotting powder. It's just this translucent powder that's universal. 
It says it's supposed to absorb shine, diffuse the look of pores. I like that. Won't cake up into pores. I saw an interview with Rihanna and she said you could just keep applying this as you need to and it's not gonna look cakey and gross. So I'm gonna hit it on the apples of my cheek here with, with pores and just the center of my forehead because I didn't really set any of my makeup with anything. It has this little sponge using something the same time on my face all the time. Not really ideal for me, but I, I like blotting powders, translucent too, because I don't like to put anything that's too heavy consistently on my face and I get really shiny around my nose. But with that foundation, I feel like I'm not really that shiny yet. I'm just pretty matte. So let's go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm gonna put on some eyelashes and then we're gonna hit up the lip gloss. Now I'm gonna use the Big Shot Maybelline Mascara and this is the Shayla edition which is the baddest black. I love this mascara. I'm just gonna apply a light coat before I apply my lashes. These are Lily Lashes. They're the ones in collaboration by Makeup by Samuel and he's so good. You guys should check him out on Instagram, but look how fluffy these are. Spiky and pretty, I love them. Lastly, we're doing the lips. So Fenty came out with one lip gloss and this is the Universal Gloss Balm. It has that really oversized doe foot applicator here. Peach vanilla scent. Oh my God, it smells so good. And it's supposed to be a universal rose nude lip color. So we're just gonna apply that. I'm not gonna apply any other lip. Oh, that's pretty. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like it and find it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought and what you're thinking of the Fenty line itself. Do you guys love it? Um, have you tried it yourself? Have you bought some foundations? Did you find your color? I would love to know. That's about everything and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Do you guys like my custom backdrop? I made this, okay? Blood, sweat, and tears. Not so much blood, sweat, and tears, but just like a little spray paint. <laughs> Are you gonna eat those Takis back there? No. I am concerned, Steven. There is concern looming. <laughs> oh my gosh, almost went into the brow here. Do you think I should put some on my forehead or is that just doing too much? Doing too much. Okay. Oh, I forgot to highlight my shoulders. Steven, how could you let me do such a thing? I thought you were on my team. Oh, I just went like crazy there. And that's why I didn't let you do it on your forehead. <laughs>